This is a piston guide oil seal removal video for the General Pump Model 70 and 71 series. The tools you will need for this repair are an impact wrench, a slide hammer, a pick, an adjustable wrench, a soft rubber mallet, packing lubricant, two support pins, a flashlight, a collet with slide hammer, a pliers, a 14 millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter hex, a 3 8 inch ratchet, two pry bars, a torque wrench, removal tool part number 275038800 for the 70 series, removal tool part number 275039800 for the 71 series, multi-use tool part number 26019400, cone part number 279 one four three zero zero for the seventy series, cone part number two seven nine one four five zero zero for the seventy one series, insertion tool part number two seven nine zero nine four two zero zero for the seventy series, and insertion tool part number two seven nine zero nine four nine zero zero for the seventy one series. Use the impact wrench with a 10 millimeter hex attached to remove the two top row outer manifold retaining bolts. Install and thread two support pins in their place. Use the impact wrench with a 10 millimeter hex drive attached to remove the remaining six retaining bolts. Use an adjustable wrench to rotate the crankshaft. This will develop a space between the manifold and the crankcase. If necessary, use the soft rubber mallet to lightly tap the manifold to provide even further separation. Insert the two pry bars into the space and gently pry the manifold further from the crankcase. Pull and remove the manifold off the crankcase. Remove the support pins. At times, the packing retainer may remain in the crankcase. Use the 14 millimeter socket to loosen and remove the plunger bolt. After removing the bolt, remove the plunger from the guide. Thread the slide hammer with the collet attached into the retainer. Tap the slide hammer to remove the retainer. Remove the retainer from the slide hammer. Use a pick to remove the flinger washer from the piston guide. Turn the crankshaft to position the piston guide to its innermost position in the crankcase. Shine a flashlight into the manifold for better viewing. Insert the piston guide oil seal removal tool onto the large slide hammer. Slide it into the manifold. Tap the slide hammer to secure it to the seal. When secure, tap the slide hammer outward to remove the seal. Turn the crankshaft to position the same piston guide into the outermost position. Shine a flashlight into the manifold for better viewing. Insert and thread a cone onto the piston guide. Insert a new seal over the cone. Slide the installation collar over the cone. and lightly tap with a soft rubber mallet. 
Remove the installation collar. And unthread the cone. Install the flinger washer. Install the plunger onto the piston guide. Be sure to always replace the O-ring on the piston guide bolt during repairs. Install the bolt. And tighten with the torque wrench using the proper specs. Install and thread the two support pins. Rotate the crankshaft so the center plunger is at its outermost point, leaving the other two plungers staggered. Apply packing lubricant to all of the plungers. Install the packing supports onto the plungers and fully seat them into the crankcase. Install the manifold onto the crankcase. Install and thread the manifold retaining bolts. Start with the center bolts and alternately tighten them to help ensure proper positioning of the manifold. Remove the two support pins. Insert and thread the two remaining bolts and alternately tighten them, starting with the inner bolts and working to the outer bolts. Tighten all of the bolts with a torque wrench using the proper specs.